All right, this is Eric and Ariel's furnace. It's got a cracked heat exchanger, so we're looking at replacing it. So first, return drop needs to be changed, or the furnace needs to be up on a base can, or do both, just so we can maximize the amount of airflow. It's only a 10 by 20, should be a 10 by 24. If we do make the drop bigger, we're probably gonna have to shorten this gas line, that little nipple right there, so that we have the room to do so. The venting, I do want to cut off about right here. Somebody, in all their wisdom, silicone the heck out of that. So let's cut that off and redo everything new all the way to where the furnace is going to sit. AC was put on three years ago. Approximately, so that, approximately three years ago, so that looks good. Uh, I'm a little off-centered in the back, so if we're keeping the AC, uh, let's make sure it's centered on the new furnace. Condensation, we do everything in PVC, or at least bigger PVC than that. It does have a floor drain right here. Let's make sure it's dripping into it. Looks like it's missed the mark a few times. Get it back up. Uh, other than that, electrical switch is here on the wall. And then it ties into this side. So pretty much just a pull out and put in. We do have a Looks like a clean out or something right there. That'll be the only only hump you guys got to get over. So like I said, replace all the venting from where that silicone union is. And then I have to re rework the gas line just to fit the new drop because it's about three inches difference. And we're adding another four. We'll put a new shut off on it and new everything into the unit.